Hi, welcome to another video. Thank you for joining me today on my channel, Fabulous Marilyn. Happy New Year. I haven't been here since 2020. Um, got a little new setup here. I have a, what is this? A tripod of sorts for your phone. Anyway, I wanted to come and say hi because I haven't been on my channel. I wanted to talk a little bit um, about my channel and where it's going for this year, 2020. I don't know if you can tell, but I have been under the weather a little bit. I don't know if the camera is showing how much I am sweating right now. Oh, this head cold. It's bad. So today is Sunday. And I wasn't able to go to my church service today. And I started to feel a little bit bad about that. But then I was like, no, you're not feeling well. Nobody wants you sneezing on them. And coughing like that is disruptive. So, um, I stayed home. And I discovered that I have a leakage in one of my bathrooms that's coming from upstairs. And it's Sunday. So, I've reported that. I don't know if somebody's going to come out today. That would be great if I didn't have to wait until tomorrow to get that taken care of. Um, but I have some buckets underneath to catch the water. So, yeah. Um, so, last year, um, 2019, I started doing a little bit more videos. Um, and I wasn't really sure. I thought that... I wanted to do um, lots of crafting and I do want to do crafting on my channel show you some of the things that I make um, haven't put up a website yet I'm not very um, I'm not very tech savvy so unfortunately for me because I should have a website by now but I have my son here, and I think that he knows how to do those things. So I'm going to see if he can assist me with that. Um, I hope the lighting is good. Um, let's see. Sorry. I'm sorry. Got my thumb in the way. So, um, yeah, I'm going to try to get that done before the end of February of at least a website that has um, my things on there. Also, I talked to you a little bit in 2019 about writing and I have started uh, writing. I have several poems that I've written. I'm thinking maybe I can do some type of book after I've, I've gotten about maybe 50 or 150 written and I can compile them in some type of book that would be interesting that would be a, a manifestation um, for 2020 um, what's your word for 2020 my word for 2020 is manifest get it done get it done do it again it doesn't matter if you wake up you can do it again if you messed up yesterday and you, your mindset is still that you want to manifest, then do it again. Keep on doing it until you get it, okay? Keep doing it until you get it. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep on doing it until I get it. So, um, I think I also talked about in 2019 on my channel that I wanted to do some Bible studies. I wanted to take you along with me and show you how... I study um, when I'm studying the Word of God for understanding and revelation and insight and uh, growth and obedience. Um, I said obedience because that's another word for me in for 2020 is manifest and obey. Obey what the book, the Bible is telling me to do walk in that way even the more so because I believe that we will manifest when we are obedient to the instructions whether that be the instructions on the job if you're obedient to your your supervisors and managers you can grow I love the scripture in the Bible and I wish I could um, 
give you the chapter and verse, but I don't have it right now. And hopefully, if I remember, I'll try to have it for you next time. It says that if you do good, will you not be accepted? And I think that a lot of times uh, we complain about not being accepted. Uh, a lot of time, and there's also the other side of that where people do really well and they're still not accepted. But it's nothing you can do about that. You have to continue to manifest, um, read God's word so that, so that you'll grow. And so I just believe that um, when I do that even the more, and I want to take you along on some of those morning um, Bible studies. I hope it's not looking crooked because my camera is kind of like sort of like that. And I don't want to put my fingers on it. It's fine. I want to take you along on some of my morning um, studies of the Word. I want to do some more uh, writing. Um, I may share one of my poems with you guys. I want to do some more of that. I'm still working on the uh, magazine because we have a magazine that's going to be coming out that our church is producing. Um, our overseer has a vision for a magazine. And so I'm one of the authors and I believe I told you guys that. And so my poems that I'm going to turn in on the date that we have to turn in, those are ready. I've done an interview with a woman who's an entrepreneur. I have, I, I would like to get uh, before that date that we have to turn any, everything in, I like to get about two more women because the magazine is focused towards women. That's just the way it is. But anyone can read it because uh, the content is going to be very inspiring and very encouraging. And so, um, I like to get those things uh, in. I like to get a couple interviews uh, before that date. I have one. I want to do two more. And I streamed it, the interview live because I did want to share it on my channel. Uh, and I still have it. But again, I'm not that tech savvy. If I was, I would have some words written that would pop up every now and then on the screen um, that I want to really zone in on. I would do that, but I don't know how to do that. But you know, everybody can learn. I can learn. I am really liking my tripod. <laughs> I'm really, really liking it. Um, so, what did I say? I said poems. I'm writing. I want to do more writing in 2020. I want to share with you my concept and the way I do Bible studies to encourage myself in the mornings early mornings I do those. Some of them may be live. We'll see. I want my channel to grow. Um, I would like for my subscribers to leave a comment even if it's just um, hey, how are you? <laughs> you know, anything, right? Um, I like to see the channel grow. Um, as far as crafting, I have an unfinished quilt top. Well, the quilt top is complete. Sorry about that beeping. It's my stove. The quilt top is complete. I still have to get the batting for that. Um, to get that completed and sewn down and present that to my son. Um, this same son has a new baby. So we have a new baby in the family. I am now the grandmother of, ooh, let's see. I want to say 16. Let me see, okay. She has three. And then another one, two, three, that's six. And then he has seven, eight, nine, that's nine. Then he has ten, eleven, twelve, that's twelve. Twelve. Twelve grandchildren? Maybe 12 grandchildren, if I got my count right. Oldest has three. Oh, no, 13. I left out baby rain. So 13. It's 13 or 14 grandchildren. Okay. Um, my nose is really bothering me. I'm not feeling well, but I'm loving the way 
that the recording is set up. I like the picture in the background. I tried to get my plant right here that stands up so beautifully. Um, you guys know I like plants. And here's my other one. Uh, and I have another one here. And I have another one in the window. And I have another one over there. They're all live plants. And they are thriving. And I love, love, love plants. I like to get about six to eight more in the house here. I like to do that. Um, what else do I have in the works that I want to talk about? I want to put some carpet down in my um, living room. I want to paint one of the walls in my living room an accent color. I think I want to do like a Sharon Williams light gray. I want to do that. Um, I haven't sewn a thing. It's just because... Um, my setup is a little bit different, has changed uh, just for a little while. Uh, but when the summer hits, um, I probably will get everything kind of reorganized and um, be back in the craft room. And I'm excited about that. Um, what else? What else? I have been trying to knit <laughs> a shawl. I'm telling you, I'm going to conquer knitting this 2020. I'm going to conquer that. That's another thing that I want to manifest in 2020 is getting my knitting up off the ground. Um, knitting socks and knitting sweaters. And I always try to start a sweater in my size. I am a plus size. And that's a lot of fabric and that's a lot of work. So I, I, I heard one of my um, podcasters say that, you know, maybe go ahead and start knitting a baby sweater or toddler sweater or size small sweater. Just get your hands, you know, acclimated to those stitches and things like that. So I want to do that. Um, I really need to do that. Oh! And I have a musical instrument. I'm excited about it. I should have bought it so you guys can see. It's so pretty. And it's called a mandolin. A mandolin is a very... I want to say it's an ancient um, musical instrument. But I haven't been able to do any practicing uh, the last week. Because I just haven't been feeling well. I'm all warm and hot carrying on and I think it's a head cold is what I have and you guys know that I like to do videos but I have this thing with uh, wearing makeup in the house especially when I'm sick because I'm sweating and uh, my lighting is not the greatest I'm going to invest in a that round light I can't think of the name of it and it really gives you a lot of light no matter the day I'm really, really hot and sweating. Um, maybe I'll take a little cough syrup or something. I don't know. Benadryl or something. I hate to take things that's just going to knock me out. Because I knew I wasn't going to church today um, because I'm not feeling well. But I did want to get on the computer or either in my tablet and manually just write some things out. But I'm just not at the top of my game. And um, I do have to go out tomorrow morning. I have an appointment. But, um, yeah. So now that the new baby's here, I have to make a baby quilt, of course. But I'm just not set up right now to lay out all of my fabric and, you know, see what I have. I'm just not set up right now. So that quilt may come later. Yeah, it may come later. Um, besides that, all is well. All is well. Let me see, is there anything else? Yes. I want to find, now if you guys know of a really good recipes or YouTube videos where people are like eating clean and the food is tasty, that's the problem I have. There's a very, very sweet lady at my church and she gave me a website 
in my text messages and I did go there and I do like those recipes and I also want a book um, but you know how sometimes in your text message the message will, the messages will just disappear over time they just be gone I should have written it down and I didn't but she may still have it in her information so I'll ask her it's very very nice of her to help me with that because she knows that I'm trying to eat clean um, I want to get back to doing my walking and my exercise I really 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 enjoy walking and last summer I really got it in and I would come home and exercise you know do the stretches after the workout and I would walk for an hour hour and a half hour and 45 minutes and when I would lay on my pad to do my stretches I would notice that my feet were it, 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 it was as if my feet were not getting the stretching and the comfortability that they should have been getting because I was stretching, you know, like I was stretching my arms and my legs and my neck and my back and everything. Come to find out, and, and they were in pain. Come to find out, I went to the doctors, that I have plantar fasciitis in my left foot heel. You're talking about pain where you can't even walk on your heel. I would just, I'm sorry, just scroll around in my computer chair from to the bathroom, to the sink to get water, from one side of the house to the other because my foot was hurting so bad. They said it's because I have flat feet, there's a lot of thick tissue there, and so there's certain types of shoes that I need to wear as far as uh, slippers for the house, um, tennis shoes and dress shoes. So the whole nine yard has to be those type of shoes. And I did find a website where I found some really, really cute ones. So I'm going to have to order those. Um, there should be a store somewhere um, where I can actually go in and buy them and I don't have to wait. So if you have any information or you experienced that before, please leave a comment down below. And let me also say, um, please subscribe and hit that little button um, to help to help support me. Um, to, I want my channel to grow. I would love to see that. <laughs> that would be so exciting. By September, I would like to see if I can get 2,000 subscribers. And I know that that would mean that I would need to do more content and more videos, more of the things that I talked about in the beginning of the um, in the beginning of the video. So let's manifest. Let's get it done. And is there anything else? Y'all pray for me. I hope I feel better because I need to get out of this house and do some things. And I just be in this house and do some things. But when you're not feeling well and you're all warm and hot, there's no way you can be strumming your guitar or sitting at your computer and you're just pouring down sweat. It's just like lay down. And I'm not very good at being still. I'm not. I want to read more. I want to read some novels this year. I want to meet, read some money management, budgeting type material. I would love to go to seminars on entrepreneurship. There is one that I know about and I think that my local assembly where I fellowship I believe that in February we may be having something for writers those who write I believe so and I really want to try to make it to that so that's the update from this channel fabulous Marilyn thank you for joining me hope you come back again please subscribe and hit the button and I think I've updated you guys on everything. I got my hair corn rolled. It's all laying down. Thank God. Got it done in, what, December. Uh, I think a week before Christmas. And I'm trying to let it hang on in there until the middle of February and get it redone in another style of some type of braids or um, corn rolls or something like that. Very, I don't have to do anything but put some mousse on it. And that's it. 
So thank you for joining me. Hope you have a happy Sunday. Um, God bless you all. And come back again. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell. You'll never miss another video. Okay, bye.